It was a Friday evening. Some college students met at the house of Professor Hennington Anna. Week after week they met and little did they know that their prayer cell would become the powerhouse of this very own ministry. What are we talking about? We're talking about our ministry, UESI, Union of Evangelical Students of India. Professor Hannington Enoch, being the founder, had been involved with the work of the student Christian movement of India. Professor Hannington Enoch and his friends did not know about the existence of evangelical student movements in other countries. The group of students continued to meet at his place for two years to pray for the evangelization of the students of India. In 1950, Brother Bhakt Singh told Professor Enoch about Dr. T. N. Sterrett, who was teaching in a Bible school at Jhansi, Uttar Pradesh. Dr. Sterrett had been sent by the IFES, International Fellowship of Evangelical Students, to pioneer student work in India. In 1950-51, to 51, God allowed both of them to meet. The students from different colleges expressed their dissatisfaction at what was taught from the Bible and felt the need to proclaim why Jesus came. So, Professor Enoch agreed and told them that a definite set of doctrines should be established in order for the coming generations to witness it. It was then, in 1951, that the first ICEU was formed in Madras. In 1948, about half a dozen students of CMC Valor felt the need for a deeper fellowship. Since the born-again experience was not emphasized much, the concerned students prayed and in 1950, God sent Dr. John Moody from Australia, who had been involved with the IVF, Interversity Fellowship, now known as the Universities and College Christian Fellowship, based in the UK to be on the staff of CMC Valor. He held regular Bible studies for students and later felt the need to form a well-organized group to affirm their position. It was then, in 1951, the EU was formed in Valor. D. Jiapal, who was a part of the Madras Fellowship, moved to Coimbatore for his studies. Since he had no fellowship in Coimbatore, he prayed and as a result, God sent H. S. Ponuraj and later raised a small prayer cell which grew steadily and eventually the Coimbatore ICEU was inaugurated in 1952. After five years of prayer, UESI was launched as a national movement on the 18th of September 1954. EU now are increasing in number. To date, there are 148 EUs and 298 ICEUs affiliated to UESI. UESI was born out of God-given vision and prevailing prayer. UESI was later affiliated to IFES in 1959. UESI has a mission, and that is, UESI seeks to evangelize post-metric students in India, nurture them as disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, that they may serve the church and the society. UESI also have a vision statement transform student impacting the campus and the nation as disciple of Lord Jesus Christ. UESI has four aims as well. Number one, to present the claims of Christ so that other students may come to a personal experience of Jesus Christ as Savior, Lord and God through the new birth. Number two, to have fellowship with all students of like precious faith for mutual help and growth in the Christian life, especially by means of Bible study and prayer, and to encourage one another in witness for Christ. Number three, to raise testimony in the colleges to the truths and historic Christian faith and to present its message for the whole of life and the problems of mankind. Number four, to present God's missionary command and so to help students discover and obey His will for them at home and abroad in world evangelization. The belief of UESI is based on these 10 doctrines. Number 1. The unity of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the Godhead. Number 2. The sovereignty of God in creation, revelation, redemption, and final judgment. Number 3. 
the divine inspiration and infallibility of the Holy Scripture, by which we mean the 66 books of the Bible, as originally given and its supreme authority in all matters of faith and conduct. Number 4. The universal sinfulness and guilt of human nature since the fall, rendering man subject to God's wrath and condemnation. Number 5. Redemption from the guilt, penalty and power of sin only through the sacrificial death as our representative and substitute of Jesus Christ, the incarnate Son of God. Number 6. The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Number 7. The necessity of the work of the Holy Spirit to make the death of Christ effective to the individual sinner, granting him repentance towards God and faith in Jesus Christ. Number 8. Indwelling and work of the Holy Spirit in the believer. Number 9. The only holy universal church, which is the body of Christ and to which all true believers belong. Number 10. The expectation of the personal return of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Thomas Jones Synod College Evangelical Union was formed in the year 2007. Brother Hampang Pale became the first president and Brother Dami Tingan the first secretary. This EU was launched on 12th of September 2007 by Brother Jerry Lapang, the dense staff worker based in Tura. The TJSC EU took initiative in presenting the gospel to many students in the campus. The first Freshers Retreat was conducted on the 23rd of July 2008, and this year we are celebrating it for the 11th time by God's grace. Hello everyone, I'm Adin. Wherever I went, I never really have experienced the friendliness that is in EU. To me, EU is something I am really glad being a part of. It really helps my spiritual life and it really helps me in how to read the Bible of the Bible and the words of God and I really find pleasure. For me, EU is like a family of God. When we meet each other, we used to call brother and sister and it showed me the best way to live regarding with spiritual life. Hello, I'm Shelly Vanessa Siang Cha and I'm a part of DUSI ministry. I have been blessed through this ministry with different camps and conferences. Firstly, this ministry helped me to understand the real and true meaning of being a Christian, helped me to read and understand the Bible deeply and how to spend time with God daily and to have a close relationship with God. One thing I like in EU is no matter what status you hold in your life, that doesn't define you. We are all equal in EU, which means that we are all a children of God. For me, EU is uh, like a family, uh, which we used to share uh, at home, like a brother and sister. Okay, for me, EU is like a chaplainer, and because it's really shaped me in a good shape, and because I am what I am today is because of this EU. Coming to this Thomas Jun, I didn't, I didn't regret at all, because by coming here to study here. I learned so many things I learned about this EU and it's really, it's really give me that, really give me that thing which I really want in my life. Well, to me, EU is a family. It is something that I can trust. It is something that I find person whom I can rely on. And this gives us uh, confidence to stand uh, in front and share uh, words of God. And it also trained me to have uh, to boost my confidence, to be frank with other people and to have a close relationship with other people. It's been more than three years that I've been a part of this family and more than two years in this college EU. And I have been blessed through this ministry and I want you all brother and sister to join this ministry so that you will get some experiences and you will gain confidence. It teach me to have purity morally and uh, to be integrity financially. I came here that I know Jesus Christ and I know him personally and I accept him personally as my Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. And as the, as the vision of the USI say, tran transform student and an impact in the campus as disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it really transformed me. And I know that it's really transformed my life and my heart also. It really helps me, it really boosts my confidence. It casts out my shyness and my fearness. And I really found peace by being in it because it really gives me that joy and the freedom that I can find myself. Since I joined this ministry, the quality of the relationship of me and God is getting more and more better and better. And this also helps us to understand and to understand in reading the Bible and understand the Word of God. And uh, I love this family of God. 
Lastly, I would like to say to you that our life is a testimony to others and people read us every single day. Wish that people read you and uh, they will receive uh, good things in you. No other group of people will you ever meet who are this friendly and sweet. I know how to live my life as a life of faith and a life of prayer. And I urge you to all my dear friends that to join us, to join us there, Thomas John EU, so that you will learn more about Christ and you will know more about Him and you, you will know about your life and you will build a relationship with God also. Please get involved to this ministry and then you will gain so many things, experience and confidence. So I encourage each and every one of you to please join this ministry because you'll be a blessing to others too. So that's what I'm really appreciating about it. I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to be a part of this family because you will find people here with the biggest heart and the greatest helping hand. I have gained a lot from this family. I really encourage you to be a part of this ministry, to get involved in this ministry, so that you will learn many, many new things in your life, and you will get to experience life more and more. And may your life shine to others and to God's glory, and also live a life that when you look back, you feel proud of yourself, and you will never ever regret the presence of God. So thank you, love you all, be happy, be fun, and stay blessed. I want you all brother and sister to join with us uh, in this ministry. And I'd like to quote the one most important thing that I've learned, that is, for it is in giving that we receive. Thank you.